What's up? Welcome back. I'm doing something kind of different. I'm going to do a unboxing. And as you can see, it's right here. Um, y'all haven't seen me flown. Uh, y'all haven't, y'all haven't seen me flown. You haven't seen me fly a drone in a while. God, I still said that wrong. <laughs> My drone has been down and, um, it's been getting a new frame. It's got, uh, all new parts, uh, flight controller, everything. And, um, so it's, uh, it's been down for quite a bit. It's probably been down for like two months or so. And I've just been getting new parts and putting it back together because it took a hard slam. I'm talking like, I'll go ahead and put it in right here. It's pretty, you, you have to see it. If you haven't seen it, please go check out that video. It'll be the first link in the description, but check out this shot. So yeah, it was a uh, pretty good slam. It folded the arms, uh, the arms in that hold the motors on. So it was a, it was a pretty good slam. So it messed up all kinds of stuff. I, I actually went back to my old frame because it was my new freestyle frame. So I went back to my old frame, tried to uh, build it back up and fly it again, and hits. It was ruined. It uh, it ripped the antennas off, so it wasn't getting any, getting any signal. One of the motors had burned up, or tried to burn up, I think. So I had to get new motors, and new flight controller, and just everything. So basically, what I've bought so far was a voltage regulator, new wires. I obviously had to have new wires because it ripped the other ones out when I crashed it. I got the Speedix IS30, and it's a like a it's a four and one thirty amp. I got a step down voltage regulator, and then I got this uh, flight controller, and this is the F four flight controller. And from what I read and what my friend that's putting the drone together, because I can't put the drone together, I'm just not very really good at it. I've tried. Uh, when it's all together and it's tuned and it can fly, I can take everything out and put it in another uh, on another frame but i can't build one from scratch i just i've tried twice and i can't do it so i leave that to him he's very good you should go check out his channel it'll be the second link in the description he does a lot he's a very good pilot and he does he's very good at building drones but anyway he's the one that's building my drone at the moment and he recommended this because i'm on three cells right now and I can go to four cells with this flight controller and the stuff that I got now. So I'm going to do an unboxing because I haven't seen an unboxing with these yet. So, and from getfpb.com. And I haven't really seen any unboxing from them. So I figured I would do it. Just, uh, I'm, this video, this video is not paid for not or nothing like that. They didn't sponsor this video. I just like their shipping and handling and the overall customer service because I had to reorder a voltage regulator got them on the phone they were perfect um, this every part I've ordered I've ordered them individually uh, every part I've ordered I chose the three to ten day shipping literally got here in two days I mean I ordered it two days showed up and like it's it's pretty I didn't have to pay any more money to get it here that fast like it got here that fast every single part that I ordered so uh, five you know uh, one to five stars five star rating on shipping and handling and customer service so I'm gonna open this up and getting get into it real quick by the way they'll send you stickers too which is pretty cool I think most every part comes in this package as you order from them. Uh, every part that I've gotten has came like that. So you tear it right here somewhere. Ugh. Awesome. It came, I didn't even think about it to order new standoffs or anything, but it came with standoffs and screws to put it in. 
and it came with it came with new plugs and these boards I don't know if y'all knew this but these boards come white so that's really cool I love I love that they're white when they come from the uh, thing up there that's really cool so yeah this is uh this is basically all it is so uh, I gotta get this part over there today for him to get my drone done and I should be flying this weekend I'm gonna try and get a before I fly I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put this GoPro through any more abuse than I already have because when it took that hard fall it broke the uh, battery holder in my GoPro because I don't have any protection on my GoPro uh, when I fly because it's too heavy and the drone like because I'm on 3S I, when it comes up the front end just sags so you have to punch up and then it's all out of balance when you punch out with the big ass case holding the GoPro on especially the indestructible case so basically what I do is I just put the GoPro on the on the uh, drone and I tilt it a little bit and I strap it in and hope to God I don't crash and usually I do I don't I don't crash as much as I used to but when I used to crash I've always gotten lucky enough it would hit the uh, tree limb or something and it would land flat so except for the one crash which you've seen in the video it broke the arms off of the uh, frame which is a pretty tough crash I think it flew I think it was like a around 200 foot up and it flew I was trying to gap a tree and when it come through the gap it just lost signal and crashed so uh, I haven't really as so I've been looking for a GoPro Hero 5 like a session and that's what I want to be using when I do this because they're a lot they're small they're indestructible they're not gonna break when it hits the ground and stuff like that but I also wanted to uh, also wanted to take the time to show you. I haven't showed my setup in a while and I've been doing a lot of videos here lately with the PC and stuff like that but yeah so as of right now this is the setup the Ryzen 1500X with the GTX 1060 that's it Razor Kraken V2 Pros is what I use for headphones. Um, Blue Snowball for a mic. I got the mic arm. It was fourteen dollars on eBay. I bought the I bought the uh, Snowball for uh, I think it was thirty bucks used on eBay or refurbished. And then Razor keyboard, the Black Widow, the 2016 Ultimate Edition, the Death Adder. Yes, I've still got the Death Adder. It's like. 20 bucks at Walmart right now. I bought that thing when it was like 50 bucks and uh, it's just done me perfect. It's never messed up so I still have it. Uh, you can see Dylan in the Discord right now. <laughs> He's waiting on me. We we're supposed to play and I'm supposed to stream tonight. I have a 1080 camera. That's what you'll see. That's what sees me, I guess, when y'all watch my stream. If you haven't watched my stream, uh, I would I, w I would suggest y'all, and I have, a, I have a big ass green screen behind me. So just hanging up or whatever. So that's what y'all are seeing in uh, my videos or my stream when I'm streaming on Twitch. If you haven't seen my Twitch, I suggest you go. It's really fun. Uh, I just recently hit uh, 100 viewers uh, not even um, two or three days ago. I actually, I actually hit 200. I get an email about my... I get an email about my streams and like my peak viewers and my chatters and my average viewer and stuff like that. Well, the other day, and I, I was, I've been streaming Minecraft. I've been streaming a bunch of games, really. But Minecraft has been my biggest game. Minecraft and Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves was the first big game. I started getting like 100 viewers. And then it went up, to, or I started getting like 20 viewers. Um, and it, it gradually grew. It was like 15, then 20, and then it was like 40 in like my 40s it was like 47 was like my peak and I was like dude this is crazy it's getting huge and then it was 63 and I and this all took course over like two weeks I've been streaming for like seven months in a row I mean seven months every day every or every night not every day because I work 
but every night on the weekends and then I started slowing down because I didn't think it was going to uh, take off because it was just getting like five or six views but I stuck with it and I've started getting more views it was like 10 20 and 15 20 15 18 like it was just gradually growing and growing it was around that area and then it took off well last night was my biggest stream yet without no raids or anything it was just people watching me and it was to like this is my my stream uh, they send me an email about your stream or whatever Streamlabs does and I had 202 peak viewers and 37 chatters and then it had I had 21 new followers and an average of uh, it was an average of 114 viewers I was like that is insane it was so awesome I was so happy. So uh, we've been we've been really grinding, and I've been really that like with that stream tonight. We're ready to get on stream tonight and stream. So if you haven't seen my Twitch, you should get on there. It's really fun. We try to have a lot of fun, and I interact with the chat a, a lot. I try to interact with the chat as much as I can. So. And we're you and usually I have my mods in the chat and they're all they're always interacting with the chat and messing around and playing. And so it just it gets fun. It really does. So if you haven't joined my Twitch, you should and it would be awesome to get in there. Give me a follow and just hang out and watch me play games. But that is it. Until next time. Peace. I said peace, but uh I wanted to uh, address everybody on the Bigfoot movie because everybody's been asking me and a bunch of local people have been asking me too when's the movie come out we are not done filming it uh, we just started filming it and it's going to come out soon but we have to finish filming it it's a long video it's gonna take a long process and it's gonna be about we're trying to shoot for like 45 minutes to an hour possibly more so it's gonna be a movie it's gonna be like a legit movie that we created and so we're just trying to put, we're trying to get all the scenes put together and it's really hard to uh, film during the week because everybody that's on this project works and we're trying to get new people in to help us out and, and be in the video with us. And it's just hard to get everybody together all at once and, and stuff like that. So the video, the Bigfoot movie is coming and we are filming it. But we still have a lot of filming. To, not a lot of filming to do, but we have a pretty good bit. We're going to try and knock a bunch out this weekend, but it's going to be raining. But that's where we're at on that on that video. So, or that movie. Because I know I talk about it a lot. And I haven't really said much on the channel about the Bigfoot movie. Except for like an update. And the... I think it was the Jeep video. But, yeah. It is coming along. And it's going to be fun. Peace.